Welcome back. Bovine respiratory disease can be a serious problem when it comes to the health of your cattle and your operation's bottom line. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Jim Witt traveled to Oskaloosa, Kansas to learn more about the disease. Whatever you want to call it, when it comes to bovine respiratory disease, BRD or shipping fever, when you snooze, you lose. It robs a calf of healthy lung tissue each day it goes untreated. It not only jeopardizes the calf's health, it jeopardizes the earning potential of your investment. Today we're at the Perry Ranch in Oskaloosa, Kansas, and we're joined by Dr. Dan Thompson, Jones Professor of Production Medicine at Kansas State University. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Thompson. My pleasure, glad to be here. Dr. Thompson, is every calf susceptible to this disease? It's inevitable that every calf's going to be exposed to, to the bacteria that cause BRD. They aren't born with it, but but they do pick it up through the environment and they'll pick it up through the, the mother grooming the baby calf. And a lot of, of the pathogens that cause BRD, especially the bacterial ones like, like Mannheim and Hemolytica, wind up being normal microflora in the nasal passages of these calves. And we really don't see a problem with it causing disease until we have some sort of stressor that enters that calf's life. Stressors such as weaning, shipping, ration changes, co-mingling, viral pathogens and weather can all decrease the calf's immune system. The bacteria then will migrate to the lungs where they'll colonize and this begins pathogenesis or, or what we call the BRD progression. BRD usually develops in the right cranial lung lobe of the calf. This disease will start at the bottom of the lung and then migrate up towards the top. The lung damage a lot of times can be irreparable. Tell us how fast BRD progresses. Well, like any disease, it progresses pretty quickly, especially if it's left untreated. So it's, it's imperative that we treat these animals quickly and, and effectively. Uh, general rule of thumb is that for every day a calf that's suffering from BRD goes untreated, we'll lose up 10% of the, the lung volume or 10% of the lung will be affected per day for every day that that calf's left untreated. So again, it's important that we get those calves treated quickly, but you got to remember too that Regardless of how quickly we treat these animals, a lot of times that damage is irreparable in the lungs, and not only will it decrease the production and performance of that calf, but a lot of times it'll decrease the potential of that calf to, to earn money. When we return, we'll have more from Kansas on the best way to treat BRD. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Let's return to reporter Jim Witt in Kansas to learn more about the best way to treat BRD or shipping fever. Since BRD progresses so quickly, can we get the calf back to health? Well, you can restore the calf's health, but not always are you going to restore the calf's profitability. Lung damage from BRD can be permanent. And regardless of how soon we treat it, there's a lot of times we won't be able to repair that damage that has occurred the calf's lung will become consolidated. And when that calf's lung is consolidated, there's an inability of that calf to be able to push oxygen in and out of the lung. And so not only does that decrease the, the ability of that calf to oxygenate the body, but it'll slow down its growth. When we have this, the calf is less productive. If the calf is less productive, the calf's gonna be less profitable. A lot of times, if we don't treat them early enough, or don't stop that lung damage early enough, we'll wind up with cattle that we call chronics, or a lot of people know them as poor doers, realizers, railers, mm -hmm. and a lot of other names. We all know how important it is to get those sick cattle identified, get them pulled, and get them treated. What should we be looking for? Well, there's a lot of different clinical signs that, that, uh, that producers can look at in the pen. And you're right, we have to identify these cattle quickly and accurately as possible. And it's very difficult to do in an animal that was genetically selected to not show weakness. Mm -hmm. However, when we're looking for these types of cattle out in the pen, I look for things, number one is anorexia. A calf that's off feed generally indicates that it's sick. If it's depressed with its head down, dull look, 
They can also have rapid or labored breathing patterns. As the disease progresses, these calves can begin to stagger or they can show some type of, of diarrhea. Some people look at nasal discharge. A lot of times I don't put a lot of count in nasal discharge, but definitely the, the depression, the anorexia, the respiratory rates, those are the things that, that we need to be looking for when, when we're looking for these calves that are standing off by themselves and getting away from the herd because they're, they're ill. Okay, so we've identified the sick calf, we've got him pulled, we've got him in the hospital. Which antibiotic should we use? Well, there are a lot of good antibiotics on the market. Uh, the main thing that you need to do is you need to consult with a veterinarian as to which antimicrobial that you and your veterinarian feel is the most effective for your operation. We've gotten along great using Batra 100 as a first line antimicrobial therapy for, for BRD for a long time. The main thing is, is use a drug, follow the label. Okay? And regardless of which drug that you utilize, make sure that you have quick, accurate diagnosis of the cattle for BRD within the pen and, and get them treated as quickly as possible. Okay. Dr. Thompson, thank you. Well, we hope you've learned more about BRD today and how it can affect your bottom line in a very short time. It's important to know the signs of BRD and how to treat it. And that's all we have from the Perry Ranch here at Oskaloosa, Kansas. Back to you, Susie. To learn more about treating BRD, visit our website at cattleman2cattleman.org.